Hey guys and welcome back. This is Safe and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use Mentimeter to create many types of interactive presentations. So let's get started. First of all you need to sign up or if you already have an existing account just press on login and here I will just use Google to login. And this is how Mentimeter looks like. So in order to begin and start uh, creating your own presentation you can press on new presentation here and it will show you many options to start with so you can start with a template or you can start from scratch these are many templates that you can use to start however in this tutorial I'm gonna do um, an, a new idea in which I will show you a presentation or a template and we will have to create so something like this from scratch so here I will just go and press on blank and this is how your plank presentation will look like. This is the presentation that we will aim to create something like it. So in order to create this first slide, you need to create a heading. So we will go to our presentation, press on new slide. Then we will choose our slide. Here you can find that the slides are distributed as interactive slides, quiz competition, and content slides. So basically here I will choose one of these content slides and I will choose heading slide. Now you can adjust your own settings or your own uh, uh, your own information from this right window. So basically here it says team meeting. So I will make my heading as team meeting. And subheading is let's set expectations, blah, blah, blah. So I will just copy and paste it like this. And now I will insert an image. So here you can see that it's like a puzzle image. So I will go and click to add image. I can upload from my computer or I can use just the image library. Now I will go and search for, or I will just write puzzle on the search bar. And I will search for a similar image. Yeah, that's it. So I will choose this image and I will save now. just to give it a couple of seconds and here it is so as you can see there is two differences the first one is the image is bigger and the second one is the background a little bit darker so i will go to my own presentation i will go to design i was in content window i will just go to design and i will choose here you can choose more than one layout Anyway, I'm going to just increase the layout size by pressing on plus and here it is. And now I will go to themes and I will search for a darker template. I think this is it. Yeah, exactly. So now our image or our template is very similar. It's identical. So perfect. Um, I think there is a small difference left here on the bottom right you can see the like sign but here it's a love sign so we can do this from inner activity and I will choose the love sign instead and I will remove this perfect now they are identical now I will go to the next slide which shows me instructions it shows me uh, how I can access this presentation I go to menti.com then I insert this code or I can just scan this QR code we will do something similar to this just a second. Now I will go and press on new slide. Then I'm going to choose. I'm going to go down to content slides and I'm going to choose instructions. Here it is. So now it will show you the code and the QR code. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next slide, which is actually a question. Now we started, we will start inserting qu quizzes or questions. This is a multi-choice question, so we can go here, here to new slide, and I'll choose multi-choice, and this is how it looks like. So here you can see that this is the question, I will just copy it, no, it copies extra details, so I will just copy until the O and I will add the edge manually like this and I will go to a multiple question and I will insert this in the question then I will just insert the extra edge and now you have 
options to add so here you can see good okay way off or help i can add them good i can also add images however i will not way off and you can add an option from here and press on help perfect so now i think it's the same i can also choose a correct answer however i will not because it's like a questionnaire so there is no right or no wrong uh, answer since since they are identical i will just go next so the next slide is like an open-end question it's just a question that requires uh, open-end or open space answers so i will go and press on new slide then i will choose open-ended so as you can see here this is how it will look like after people start inserting answers right now it's empty because no answers are yet uh, are yet inserted so i will just copy and paste this again same problem i will copy and paste until the edge i don't know why it's so hard to copy from it it's really confusing okay anyway i can just insert the first two words how can and to the rest then once people start answering the answers will be displayed here now let's move on to the next slide which is another open-end question another open-end question and here you have like a list or it's not like a list it's like um, a, a survey or scale this is actually a scale so we will search for a scale question i will also try to copy yeah it's it's now taken thank god now i will go to my presentation i will add a slide and i will choose that search for scale here it is scale so basically you have more than one shape of scale before changing this form i will just see how many options we have we have five options so i will add another two statements here and then you can go to design then choose this visualization perfect now let's return back to content and i will insert my question here our and you can add your own statements here perfect now let's move on to the next slide this is finally like a thank you slide that we will add and conclude our presentation with it so i will press on new slide and i will choose from content slides and image slide then i will go to um, content and i will click to add an image here the image is actually a gif and it's like clapping or a high five so i will go to gif and i will search for high five and i will maybe take this one perfect and i will copy and paste the last text here and press on paste then press on save and finally i can present to check if it's how i want so now let's insert the first slide here perfect so actually visualization worked i forgot to add this uh this text then i will copy it and i will go to um i think design design here no i think it's in content ah yeah hey in image caption perfect so here we managed to create a, a, an identical presentation out of a template so that you will know the major features in Mentimeter and you will be able to create your own uh, ideas after you are done you can click on present uh, you can click sorry on share and then you will be able to copy this invite link and share it with others you can also invite other editors to your own presentation
You can also view results if other users have already signed in and choose some answers. And this is how easy you can go creative with Mentimeter. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.